we are here in an R studio. And in an R studio, we have set up a working directory where our data file is located. In this tutorial, we are going to use a data set which is named as div2 in our working directory. This data set is going to have a data about the age, diabetes, and the BMI status of the patients. We will use this data set to demonstrate that how you can build the logistic regression models. So let's first load the data. To load the data, we are going to create a variable named data. Then we are going to give a sign of equality. And then we will use the function read.csv. After typing this, we will give the parenthesis, and within the parenthesis, we will give the comma inverted comma, and within a comma inverted comma, we will write down the name of the file in which we are interested. And right now, the name of our file is div2. After typing this, let's run this piece of code. And I hope so that now you will be comfortable to run this piece of code by hitting the run button or pressing the control enter key. Once you will do that, look at the environment tab. In the environment tab, you can see that there are the 99 observations in this data set and there are the three variables. Let's check the structure of this data set by using the str function. After typing this piece of code, where the str is going to be the function and the data is the name of the variable that is holding our data, we are going to run this. When we will run this, then look at the console. In the console, you can see that there are the 99 observations and the three variables. And the name of these three variables include age, BMI, and the diabetic status. We look at it here that the age and the BMI are the numeric variables. And the diabetes is shown as an integer here. But if you look closely, then you are going to find it out there in the diabetic status column, where the values are just one or zero. It means that this is technically a categorical variable or the binary variable. But the R Studio is actually interpreting it in the wrong way. R Studio is considering right now the diabetes status column as an integer, which is actually not true. So the first thing which we need to do is to correct this mistake. To correct this mistake, we will write a very small piece of the code. In this piece of code, we will write down the name of the variable that is holding the data. Then we will give the dollar sign. And after giving the dollar sign, we will select the column in which right now we are interested. And that is diabetes underscore status. After this, we will give the sign of equality and we will use as dot factor. As dot factor will rectify this mistake. After typing as dot factor, we will move inside the parentheses and inside the parentheses, once again, we will write down the data. And that is actually the name of the variable that is holding our data. And then we will give the dollar sign and we will select the column in which we are interested. After typing this, let's run this piece of code. And when you will run this piece of code, then look at the console. We got no error message. It means that our code is successfully executed. So let's once again check the structure of our data by using the str function. So when you will check the structure, now look at the console. Inside the console, you are going to find out age and the BMI as a numeric variable, while the diabetes is now considered as a factor. So the mistake is rectified. Now we are ready to build the logistic regression models. To build the model, let's first create a variable main model and give a sign of equality. After giving the sign of equality, we will use the GLM. In the previous video tutorial, we have explained it to you that what does it mean by the GLM. The GLM stands for the Generalized Linear Model. This is the function that will actually help us to build the logistic regression model. After typing the GLM, we will give the parenthesis. And after giving the parenthesis, what we are going to do, first we are going to type our response variable name. And as you know it very well, that in this case, the response variable is going to be the diabetes status. And that diabetic status is basically a categorical data or the binary data. And that's what we are going for the logistic regression. So we will type here first the name of the column that is actually going to be our response variable and that is basically a categorical. So we will write down the diabetes. After typing the name of the variable that is a response, we will give the tilted sign. And after giving the tilted sign, now we will type 
the name of the variable that is going to be independent or explanatory. Let's consider the age is going to be an explanatory variable here. And we will time the age here. We hope so that the most of you know it very well that with the growing age, there are the high chances of the diabetes. That's why we are going to consider the age as an explanatory variable of the diabetes. After typing the name of the explanatory variable, we will give a comma. And after giving a comma, we will type the data. And then we will give a sign of equality. And after giving a sign of equality, we will write down the name of the variable that is holding our data. And as you know, that the name of the variable that is holding our data is data. So we will type the data here. After this, we will give a comma. And now we will define the family. So we will type the family. We will give the sign of equality. And as we told you earlier, that we are going to use the binomial family. So we will type binomial. Now why we are going to use a binomial? In the previous video tutorial, we have explained it to you that why we are using the binomial. Because our response variable is just a binary. It's going to have a just zero and the ones only. It's going to have just a two levels. And that's why we are going to use the binomial one. We hope so that this point will be clear to you now. After writing this piece of code, let's run it. When you will run this piece of code, then look at the console. You're not getting any error message. It means that your code has been successfully executed. Now this is time to see the results. And to see the results, we are going to use a function summary. After typing the summary, give the parenthesis, and within the parenthesis, write down the name of the variable that is holding your model. The name of that variable is model. After typing this, let's run this piece of code. And when we will run this piece of code, then look at the console. In the console, you are going to have the result of your logistic regression model. Now what these results are letting you know? We will explain the interpretation of these results to you very shortly in the next video tutorial. We hope so that now this will be clear to you. So please stay with us. The more interesting stuff is coming in the next video tutorials.